Hey everyone, it's Keegan from SCI Outdoors. It's finally that time that we can post uh, a deer hunt. Kind of. We decided we're going to do separate videos, so the next video will be of Patrick, and he's actually out hunting right now. He actually kept me updated a couple doe, just walked 10 yards from him and spooked before he could even get his gun up. But, um, anyways, the opening weekend was a wet one. And uh, so I didn't get out much. I took a break in the rain and went and checked the trail camera on opening day. So here's the doe, two of them that I got coming out at night. One of them, that one that's closer, I think she's the bigger one. So if push comes to shove at the end of the season, um, I'll put her on the ground just for meat. I full intentions of taking a doe after like the first couple days because I'm impatient so I don't waste a tag but I am definitely aiming for something a little bigger um, the one I got pictures of in the morning is a nice little eight point he's nothing oh boy yeah camera's not really gonna focus in on him oh that's a doe anyways here he is there if I zoom in you can kind of see him he's a decent little eight um, definitely something I'd, I'd take for disabled season, but, uh, here's another picture of him, kind of a side profile of him, but, uh, yeah. Also, uh, I wanted to introduce my gun a little bit that I'd be hunting with, because I don't know if I'd ever covered it much in a previous video. This is the gun I would be using for this disabled deer season, um, in Iowa. Uh, a legal meth of take for deer is 357 caliber and higher pistol cartridges handgun um, I bought this actually not too long after getting out of the hospital because I was not sure how well I would be able to shoulder a shotgun or any kind of long gun uh, to take a deer this is the Taurus Raging Judge Magnum so it chambers 410 45 long Colt and 454 Casual which is um, what I'm going to be hunting deer with. Uh, the rounds I'm using for deer are these. They are, I don't know if you can see, or if it focuses good enough on this camera, but they are a Winchester big game round. They're platinum tip, hollow point, and they are deer, elk, and brown bear. They should have no problem taking down a whitetail. Um, I have yet to, I've shot a couple of them. They are wrist breakers. Um, but anyways, I'm looking to get a scope mount on it. And uh, I actually drew a uh, antlerless tag, a doe tag for late muzzleloader season this year, which is in January. And uh, I would love to take one with a scope and get this thing dialed in at further than what I can see with the iron sights on it, which really I can make an accurate shot with the iron sights. Oh, 50, 60 yards is the absolute furthest I would try. The way I'm setting up for the deer, I shouldn't have to take more than a 20 yard shot. Also, what I managed to fit on this gun, and it's, you know, it's not meant for it, but it, it's on there pretty, pretty stout. Um, it is the Ion Camo Cam um, barrel camera, and I've messed around with it on my shotgun, and it actually works out pretty well. And then I wanted to see if it would fit on my handgun so I can get some extra footage for this deer hunt, and uh, it should work out. I'm also tossing around the idea, if I don't get a shot on a nice buck this disabled season, comment below if you think I should just go buy a like a beginner entry level crossbow because I'm kind of thinking about it hopefully we uh, can get a deer down tomorrow definitely looking for antlers though so no promises on a hunt tomorrow um, well a successful hunt tomorrow but uh oh well I'll see you in the I'll see you in the blind in the morning right. I didn't get out this morning uh, we had a lot of rain come through and it's 
It's like 5.30 right now, and I think the rain has just ended. So that gives me well, roughly two hours of shooting time. We shouldn't get any more rain. If we do, I'll probably sit it out because I know past like 6.30, it's not supposed to rain anymore. I was wrong. But, uh, so I know the deer will be out and they should just come out a little later. I'm thinking I might be right on time. Maybe we'll see that buck. Let's go get set up. I got a little bit of a drive in the track chair for a little bit still. Just hoping the rain stays away. Alright, I'm in the spot. It, uh, it started raining. Pretty good. The wife back home shot me a text and said it's pouring there. So that's on my way, but I'm underneath a pretty thick tree above me. And <laughs> luckily I brought my burlap. So hopefully. Yeah, the rain just stopped actually. But hopefully it, it lets up and uh, the deer will start moving. So the deer have been stopping around right there. The farmer. My neighbor has a squash and pumpkin patch, and the deer love getting in it. So he's already told me shoot them all. <laughs> well, legally I can't, but hey, if he gets me some tags, I will. All right, now's the waiting time, and hopefully I stay dry. And then the next day, all right, it's the next morning. Uh, just about ready to head out about quarter after five got rained out yesterday just decided to go back home um it's a little colder out after the storms all pushed through we got a north northwest wind this morning so i had to throw on an old an old sweatshirt that i had laying around nothing too heavy because i know once that sun comes up it's gonna get warm it's a nice morning a little bit of a fog I figured I'd do a little video in here first because you won't be able to see anything on my ride out. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get a deer on the ground this morning. I'm only gonna shoot, I'm only going for the buck right now since it's only the third day of the season. So I'm only going for my eight point that I got pictures of. Um, if we don't see him, I guarantee we see the doe. Uh, but they've been out a little early, so we might even spook them going in. Because they kind of got across right by where they end up feeding in that bean field. So, we'll see. But hopefully one of them I can come, catch coming back. Uh, we'll see the dough that if I don't get the buck by the end of this week, I'm going to be putting the dough on the ground. But, uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. afternoon of day three was actually way more eventful uh it was pretty neat too we had a, a buddy of patrick's come along with us uh, he filmed our hunt for us and got some footage of uh what we thought would have been a uh, a deer on the ground but um we sat out in the blind for a while and you know what i'll just show it to you all right Afternoon of day three, loading Patrick up in the back of his van. And he's in. And we're in. Wow. I just pulled the trigger on a doe. About 50 yards or so out. Our cameraman, Josh, got it on his camera. And uh, got it on his phone.
So Josh was filming. He got the footage of me pulling the trigger and shooting that doe. Um, we thought it was a miss after when that night. We went, we looked for blood, could not find a drop of blood anywhere, looked into the woods. Um, we even went out the next day and we brought another guy out with us who walked into the woods for, he said, over 100 yards back and forth. Could not find any sign of a deer falling, crashing, anything. So we just cut it as a loss. That kind of stuff happens in a hunt. Um, it's really, really sucks when it does. I've lost a deer in the past too. I mean, it's just like duck hunting. You lose ducks in the marsh. Sometimes, you know, you lose pheasants in the field. Sometimes it's a little more difficult, but you can lose deer too. And then on day like seven, it finally happened. The unexpected. All right, it is September. 28th so this would be day day seven of our hunt and my buddy Jordan is here with me um, and we were just about ready to pack up we haven't walked up on him yet because we don't know if he's completely down but you got a huge spider on you where at <laughs> right there oh it's daddy long leg um this buck came in at a quarter after seven coming in hot too so I'm thinking the rut then we might have a bit of a pre-rut started right now we're gonna go wheel up on them actually because I it's been a, it's actually it's been long enough. I don't know what time it is but right let's now. go let's go check them out all right here he is right out of the action track chair with the 454 Casul he's nothing impressive nice body on him nice definitely no not the deer that i expected tonight at all i spined him by the way that is very ironic <laughs> sci outdoors and i shot the deer in the spine we'll get the ranger pull him out and uh, bring him home i'm gonna have to put a hold on my duck hunting tomorrow so all right we'll see you back there well, we got them back to the shop while well, we're in my garage now. Um, it started raining on us, so luckily we were able to get them out in time. Patrick was able to make it out real quick, too. Uh, I called him and I told him that I shot the, uh, the eight point we had on camera. I had no intentions of uh, even seeing this buck until rut, to be honest. And um, he's nothing special, but we got, we've had pictures of him, and he was the biggest one we had pictures of for this time of year. Um, I was kind of, I was going after the big doe that, that we've been looking at on camera, and he came right up at about 30, 40 yards and stopped, and I was able to make one shot on him, just back a ways and on his spine. Um, so, he was a spinal cord injury. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> definitely a spinal cord injury. Um, I'm trying to be sympathetic about that. I think Keegan, for our first year deer hunting after a spinal cord injury, this is quite the accomplishment, no matter how big the deer the deer is. And that's, that's, that's quite the nice deer. Absolutely. So that, that's awesome, man. Thank you. This was pretty huge to me, especially being my first year in the disabled season here in Iowa. Um, I was a little nervous after our last hunt on how the uh, the big game rounds would do with the uh, with the judge, but uh, she got her done tonight. Uh, you were you were dead set on killing deer with that thing, weren't you? Dead set. I I could not have. I just I could have done it with the shotgun or anything else. But I I bought this gun out of the hospital with the intentions of shooting a deer with it, and uh, it did the job tonight with the 454 Casul Winchester rounds. But here he is, eight point, Iowa buck, disabled season, 2019, first year, first year being in a wheelchair. So now yep. we're gonna, now, now begins the adventure of skinning him. All right, okay. we managed to get the deer hung. It was a chore, um, sorry for the blood. I mean, it's, it, that is a part of hunting. 
Um, obviously, we're not going to advertise too much of it on the channel, but it's kind of the nature of the beast. Um, how we got it up there, obviously, <laughs> was using the action track chair. And uh, I'm thinking the, out, the tractor is about 400 pounds dry weight. And uh, I'd say the deer is probably 180, 200 in that, in that range. Um, my wife, Liz, looked up a video on how to do this all with the gut still inside. So we did not field dress this deer. And uh, we're kind of trying something new. Um, I'm pulling quite a few more tags between me and Patrick this season. So... This will be a good test trial and see how we like doing it. But Liz has a lot of experience skinning animals. So she's doing a damn good job. We'll get this thing skinned out, quartered up, and caped out too, because that, that head's going on the wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, sorry I couldn't get the hunt on film. I really, really wanted to tried my best but uh did not work out uh anyways like i said patrick's out hunting for uh, the rest of this week um and uh hopefully he gets a deer on the ground and hopefully he can do what i didn't and uh actually get some footage of it uh, besides that i'll see you in the next video um, where hopefully patrick has a deer on the ground Thanks for watching SCI Outdoors.